guys, it's Joshy here and I'm back with another Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon dice battle. That's right, I've finally got another dice battle. Now this was against Chris, this was actually his first real dice battle. I taught him because um, he sounded interested and he really enjoyed it. We have, uh, I'll say it now, I have another one coming in a couple of days which is a lot more interesting, well not interesting, but it was really good against him. But this one was his first one, I wanted to put this up first. So anyway... Now, if you don't remember, you go into, you pick your tier and everything is normal, then you roll a dice for your first Pokemon. So we rolled and whatever number it is is the one that's first. And then you fill the rest out yourself. So at the top of the screen is my roll. So I rolled a six first turn, which is amazing because the Pokemon I sent out was my Z-Move Pokemon. And the thing is, you can only use the Z-Move while rolling a six. Now, if you roll a one, two, three, or four, if you don't know yourself, you have to use the moves one, two, three, four from top to bottom. If you... Um, Roll a five, you must swap Pokemons, and you do get to switch, uh, pick which Pokemon you swap into. And if you roll a six, you get to pick which move you use, and if you have, you can Mega Evolve or use a Z move on that one. Only on a six, though. You can't choose to swap, though, on a six. So anyway, he's still asleep on the second turn. I actually rolled a two, which sucked because that was hypnosis, followed by a turn of me rolling a five. So I was like, great, we're off to unlucky start. Let's see where this battle goes. So anyway, I swapped into Melon. I thought, that's not too bad. I know Intimidate's not going to help, but I am life orbed and I do have one or two moves that should help out against this guy. So we'll see what can happen. So I thought, okay. Then I rolled a one. I was like, oh my God, perfect. I rolled a one. So I got Blizzard and I thought, awesome, does just over half. I'll take him out next turn if I can hit him with another Blizzard. Like, that'd be awesome. His Berserk activates, so I'm a little bit worried that he's going to hit me really hard. But I'm all right, special defense. Then he wakes up and he gets Roost. I'm like, no, damn. Okay, okay, well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm like, this healing's not helping. Like, you could have just not. Anyway, so I actually rolled a one a second time in a row, which is just somewhat seemingly luck get blizzard i don't get a freeze hacks because that would have been great i actually knock him under half health again reactivating his uh berserk so uh now he's gonna go for dragon pulse and with plus two in special attack unfortunately there's no way melon's gonna live that i actually am max i believe special attack max defense just because i wanted to be possibly if not max special attack max hp but anyway so i am. Um, when a Pokemon faints, you do roll the dice to see which Pokemon does come out. So I rolled, and I got Watchog. So he actually rolls a 5 this turn. I rolled a 4, which is alright. So his Gramble comes in here, and I thought, oh, well, at least I get to hit him with a Thunderbolt. We can see how much I do. Now, he does have Intimidate. No problem for me, because I am a special Watchog, which I haven't got a sweet with before. And um, I do around a 30-ish, a quarter to a third, but I actually get the Paralysis. I'm like, wow, Parahax. Woo! doesn't usually happen so I'm like okay we're taking some ups and downs in this battle so anyway he actually rolls a five again and this time I rolled a three which I was like wow okay that worked out well because my other attacking move is flamethrower which you know I've it's actually gonna be all right so we're gonna do you know a small chunk to him uh, that one's definitely around a third then he gets a swap again this time into rapidash and I was like oh okay well see what happens I actually ended up rolling a four this turn and I get a thunderbolt so I'm like wow okay so I avoided hitting electric Pokemon with electric and fire with fire so anyway he's gonna go for a wild charge I rolled a four a second time in a row so I'm like okay awesome after the life orb and that this should be good I get a thunderbolt off and he just lives I get the parahax again but he just lives I would have rather him not live but okay so now I rolled a 5. I'm like, great. So now someone has to take a hit. I would have rather it be someone else, but now it's Emerald Eyes. So I thought, okay, come on, Wiggly. What can you do? What will you do? And he goes for high horsepower. Now, I am, I am not the most defensive Pokemon, but at least I take that around half. I guess at least it wasn't a fair flare blitz. And, um, yeah, he's going to go down there. So that's all right. I was like, good, okay. That's one down there, one down here. So now Raichu comes in. I roll a 1, which, um, what is 1? 1 is... I think it's Wild Charge, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. It wouldn't have done too much. So I'm going down there, and I thought, oh, well, rolled. I got Watch Hog, so I thought, okay, well, that's not too bad. I'll bring in Watch Hog, see what happens. Rolled a four, it's a Thunderbolt, but then he gets Psy Shock, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not on the most health. Probably going to go down here too. I was correct, and Watch Hog's going down. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see what we can do here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So I got Swoobat, and I thought, okay, let's see what happens. I roll a six. I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect because 
He actually went for Grass Knight. He does outspeed me, so it doesn't do too much. But now I actually got to go for Amnesia. I'm like, this is awesome. This is exactly what's needed for this set because I'm Amnesia. I, instead of being weakness policy or anything, I'm actually a Lychee Berry. Uh, no, I'm not. This is... Yes, I am. Actually, this is a Lychee Berry. So I still get the plus two instead of a plus four just in case I don't get hit by a super effective attack. I still get the activation if I'm low enough. So anyway, I get a critical hit there. Don't know exactly if it mattered or not. But anyway, that knockoff is going to take him out. So I'm like, awesome. Then Glaceon comes in. I'm like, okay, well, I think I can take a hit from this thing. I should be able to. I actually rolled a four. Went for acrobatics, which doesn't work as well because obviously it's only 55. But this thing's obviously fairly defensive. So, I mean, I would do four times that damage. But it's still not going to be enough to take out Glaceon at full HP. So I'm like, okay, well... We'll see what happens. Now, this thing has got Ice Body, so I'm like, great, more healing. Then it's got Leftovers, and I'm like, great, more healing. So, I have to work with this. So, I was thinking, okay, well, what do we got? What do we have? So, anyway, I get a 5, swap out into Parasect. I was like, okay, I'm going to send Parasect out because I'm failing that he's probably going to kill me. And no offense, Parasect, but at this point, with only 3 left, I think I need to save other people other than you, which is upsetting. So I was hoping that I'd either possibly get a chance to attack and get a Spore or a um, Brick Break off, but I don't, and he gets Ice Beam. So Parasect is going down there, which is a bit of a shame, but it happens. So now I've got Arbok left. I'm like, okay, well, let's see what I can get. If I can get a Gunk Shot, possibly a Poison, this could do a lot of damage. I have Coil as well and Snatch, but I don't know if Snatch is going to work unless he has Barrier. So I rolled a one, got Crunch. I was like, okay, give me a Defense Drop, be great. I got a Defense Drop. I was like, yes, okay. And he got Hail, so I completely avoid taking any damage. So take a little bit from Hail damage. He gets his bit of recovery, but I have dropped his defenses, so I'm hoping, really hoping for a two here because then I can get Gunk Shot. Anyway, roll again. I get one. I was like, okay, that's all right. Do another crunch. Maybe get a bit more drop. No extra drop, but he's at half HP before healing. So he gets Ice Beam. I'm like, I think I should be all right to live this. I live it. Hail stops, so he's getting less recovery. I'm like, cool. Okay, well, maybe I'll be lucky enough this turn. But nope, I rolled a one again. So I crunch again. I'm like, oh, let's hope he hasn't got a roll for an attack, has he? I get a defense drop again, guys. That would have been nice last turn. I would have taken him out. But nope, he goes for Shadow Ball here, or rolled to get Shadow Ball, and Arbok's going down. So I'm like, okay, well, I only have Swoobat left, but if I can get this to work right, Swoobat could do a lot of work to his team. So anyway, Swoobat comes in here, and I'm like, okay, let's go. Pray to the gods. I get a five. Now, when you're on your last Pokemon, a five becomes a six. So that is awesome, because now I'm able to go for Amnesia. So I'm like, okay... This is perfect. Let's see what happens. He goes for Ice Beam. I'm like, come on, live this and I can take you out because literally only if I roll a three is it bad. And then I've got frozen. I'm like, what the hell? No. Literally, like my berries popped. I get a double boost in attack. Like I can cause a lot of damage to every other Pokemon here. And honestly, from the range they're at, I think I can probably take him out. Gramble's the only worry here, you know, and he might necessarily get to pick to bring it in. Until last. So now he rolls for a mirror coat. I'm like, awesome. I got a six. Like, if I was here, I could have gone for anything by my choice. Definitely would have taken him out with an acrobatics here. So I'm like, okay, come on. Defrost, defrost. I am still frozen. I'm like, come on. That was a one. That was a heart stamp. I could have at least done some damage with that. But he goes for Shadow Ball, and that will take out Swoobat. So I actually do lose that one 4 to nil. But I felt like it was a little more closer because most of his Pokemon left were a bit damaged. And his last one was actually um, Simi Sage that we didn't see. But it was cool first time against him, and I enjoyed it. It was a lot of back and forth, but unfortunately only two of his got knocked out. But, oh, that freeze. I definitely would have definitely easily taken out um, Glaceon. And if... Gramble didn't come in straight away, or at least if Gramble came in last, it would have been a really, really interesting battle there. But it had a little bit more of a gap than I thought. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this, please do, you know, roll the dice to see what you get, to see what you use on the like button today. And if you want to, let me know what you use or roll if you want to. Also, don't forget, linked below is my Discord. Now, we did have this battle off my Discord. I do have a, um, I have actually, thanks Seaweaves for being able to set it up and put him on there because I have no clue. But we do have a bot on there that does do the dice rolling, so it's very simple to do once you learn. And I'm happy to teach people if they want to have a dice battle against me. I 
really enjoy them. They're just, they had a real quirk to it, and it's a good way just to have a chilled battle. There's no, there's stress, and you're like, oh my god, this or that, but it's, it's, it's different, and it's a different approach, so it has a different feeling, but it's kind of funny, and it's really enjoyable, and I know Chris did enjoy it. Also, don't forget as well, guys, um, if you want to as well, I have Twitch, Twitter, and all those things down below as well linked. Uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.